Hello my friends and today we're going to look at a new radio that I just recently got and played with. This is the Baofeng GT 3WP. So let's see what's nice and special about this radio and figure out why I even got it. So let's start to the why I got this radio. Well, I got it because it was on sale on Woot. So if you're not familiar with Woot, that's W-O-O-T dot com. Woot is an Amazon company or a subsidiary of Amazon. So if you're an Amazon member, especially if you're a Prime member, uh, they do a lot of clearance on items. And you can pick it up. And if you're Prime, you'll get it probably the next day, as was the case with this radio. This was actually sold for... $15.99. Um, a little bit later it went up to $19. Right now I think it's not available. But for $15 kit, you're getting the radio, the antenna, the, the charger base and earpiece. I think it even came with the um, with a cable. No, it did not come with a cable. It did come with an earpiece though because this one is supposed to have some kind of a waterproof rating. So it has the screw on cover on the side for the K connector. You have to actually unscrew this little screw here and then remove this. The other one goes on and you have to screw it on there so you can program it. It is trip programmable. So just like most Bafangs, it's it is on chirp so you can program it. It does have some nice features and some features that have me a little concerned. So like I said this is supposed to have some kind of waterproof rating. However what really gets me thinking is there is no apparent seal around the battery. So I'm not too sure about its waterproofness. Maybe, maybe it's not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try it, but I'm sure it will probably just not have a big issue if you have like some splashes or rainwater or something coming up against it. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, other nice things that I do like is it does have a protective collar around the on off switch and volume knob so that you don't accidentally change that if you're using it. It's very much like a UV5R as far as uh, standard configuration. It comes up as a three color screen just like all UV5Rs and a majority of the Baofeng radios. Uh, it does have a lighted keypad. It is nice. It has a good feel in the hand. It, it It's pretty solid to hold. It is a 5 watt radio and yes I measured it. It comes up to 5 watts. It doesn't do anything more than that. Standard Baofeng 128 memory positions. Um, I do like the way the clip goes on the back. It actually goes on with one screw on the body but it has like a swing clip so you actually put it on your belt and it'll actually swing around so the radio kind of moves with your motion. That kind of makes it nice. It is a good solid feeling radio. It's 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 heavier, much heavier than a standard UV5R. Uh, it does come with an 1800 uh, milliamp hour battery, so it claims I have not tested that, so I have to check on it. But otherwise, pretty much everything else I've done with it is <laughs> a lot like any other Baofeng. It'll change color when you're transmitting. It'll change color when you receive. It does have the standard flashlight. It does come with FM radio. So, I mean, if you know, if that's the thing, it's there. It has it as well. And it transmits and receives. Reception doesn't seem to be as good. Now, I don't know if it's the standard antenna. I have measured the antenna. The antenna is a standard little Baofeng rubber ducky. They're not fantastic. Um, I did put a 771 uh, Nagoya on it and it did get a little bit better reception, but I've not had a lot of opportunity to play with it otherwise. Uh, I've been testing too many radios right now, so this will probably come along a little bit later. Now what I use for testing is I usually use a VNA, I use uh, SWR meter. I'll make a separate video on that and, and show how I test my antennas and my radios so that everybody has an idea. Um, not a bad little radio. So if you can get it at a bargain price and you're looking for a very, very cheap radio, because this is as cheap as it gets. This is cheaper than a UV5R. Uh, for what I consider a more robust, more solid radio. Now the UV5R, of course, is a very, very standard radio for everybody starting. 
but for a slightly better with some kind of water resistance I would not hesitate to pick this thing up and if you can find it on Moot or AliExpress or anywhere else at a cheap price it's not a bad radio for 15 bucks even if you're just getting a charge a charger base and earpiece of battery you couldn't you couldn't buy those items just to replace that so you find it get it um, thanks for watching this video and if you'd be so kind to subscribe or leave me a message or something it really helps with the algorithm and it encourages me to make more videos like this I like to keep them nice and short and quick and easy so you can just get an idea of what you're getting thanks again